I kid you. See, we were both born and raised in Southern California, and uh, surfing was one of my favorite pastimes, so I was a really big fan of your show. So. <laughs> And I knew that she had fine acting chops after uh, I saw her performance in Sybil. But Norma Ray, Norma Ray was a, a, uh, a really opportunity of a lifetime for her. It was about a, a woman <laughs> fighting not only to preserve her own dignity, but the dignity of her fellow, fellow human beings. I thought it was a perfect role for Sally. Our illustrious director, Marty Ritt, told us before our first day of shooting that we were telling a story that would have a major impact on society, especially uh, in the, in the uh, as it impacts uh, unions and uh, and the working class. And I felt a keen sense of responsibility to get my part right, and I'm sure Sally, as our lead actor, felt that even uh, tenfold. Uh, I was really taken immediately of how in incredibly focused you were on the job, my dear. Oh, yes. She... <laughs> yeah, she... She would always sit quietly right next to the set, usually working on a knitting project, waiting for her call into action. In our scenes together, she was a fearless actor, totally committed. And uh, in her own quiet way, I think you were the heart and soul of Norma Ray, my dear. Well, I kept track of her career through the years and relished all the accolades and awards that came her way. And how happy I was, 32 years after Norma Ray, I'd get another opportunity to work with you on Brothers and Sisters. That was so much fun. And her enthusiasm for the work had not changed. And although she was an executive producer on the show, she was still very much a team member, uh, team player, and as I rem just like I remembered it to be uh, years ago. The joy she brings to the workplace is absolutely infectious. Her presence makes everyone around you want to be the best that they can be. Very true. Sally, I appreciate you as an inspirational actress, as an activist who continues to fight for a better quality of life for all of us. And as a devoted mother to your sons, Eli, Pete, and Sam, and the young man, your grandson, who calls you Grammy, I understand. Congratulations on your star, my dear. This is great. It's also long overdue. Yeah. 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 This is one of the very, very few living actors who can make us laugh, who can make us cry, who can make us gasp with yeah. recognition. Yeah. Oh my God, I felt that too, and she just expresses it just the way I felt, and gasp with new realizations, because she plums so deep into her characters that she allows us to see new parts of humanity. On a personal level, I've known Sally for, I don't know, I mean a long, long, long time. And I've learned so much from her. I've learned about how to prepare for a role. She doesn't even know all the things that she's taught me. She's taught me about acting. She's taught me about producing. Um, and she's taught me about parenting, but it was too late for me. <laughs> you all have no idea what a wonderful parent she is, right, Eli? I mean, Don't say <laughs> and I'm sure that her grandchildren feel the same way. And she cooks. And she writes. I mean, this is like. This is a totally well rounded, profound, talented. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming. You're always so afraid you're going to agree to do something like this and no one shows up. You know, but thank you so much for being here. It means so much to me. Um, wow. Uh, 
thank you um, to the uh, Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for you know approving my name and allowing me to be a part of this phenomenal Hollywood Walk of Fame, which is basically everyone who ever did anything at all. Um, and I'm proud to be a part of that. It shows the eclectic, wonderful nature of what Hollywood and, and show business is. And, you know, to be have the possibility of being nestled next to like Ingrid Bergman or the people who really affected their industry and the world forever. Um, I, I also have to thank um, Sony Pictures for, for paying for this, which seriously is not cheap, but you have to think about it. It goes to rest, restoring Hollywood, and I've been here long enough to know that it isn't always what you want it to be. There was a time when it was not this, and really Johnny Grant was, uh, I think everybody would agree, was really responsible in trying to figure out how to keep Hollywood Boulevard from dying and um, this has been part of it but you need someone like Sony Pictures um, to step up and, and, and pay for it. So thank you very much Sony Pictures and um, thank, thank you my support team who've come, my, my group that, that picked me up and dust me off and send me out there time and time and time again and I thank them all and, and my family who are here, the little bits that are scattered all over the corners of the globe and thank you for being here. Um, it would have seemed weird if, if none of my family came too, because that would speak in some really undesirable way. But, um, and also I have to thank wonderful Bo Bridges, who I have been lucky enough to work with in two really significant times in my life. His generosity and talent and creativity um, and his sense of humor has always, always elevated my work. And I adore him. And Jane. Wow. Okay, so I can't really talk about Jane because I always, always start to cry. I don't know what it is. Always. Have I never not cried? Oh, and now here she goes. I, you know, it's something deep and, 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 and wordless. Um, she has been my deep friend, um, a mentor without a doubt. Um, she has given me more than she ever says I gave her. But maybe that's what friendship is. And I love her deeply, and thank you for being here. So, yes, it's true. 50 years ago this year, um, right down there, literally, Sunset and Gower, I began this, this, this journey. Um, I, was, I was 17 years old, uh, right out of high school. I didn't have an agent. I wasn't a member of the Screen Actors Guild. And all of a sudden, I was the star of a, of a television series. Um, and, and the very first scene we were to do, the first scene, the first day, our producer, the fabulous and colorful Bill Sackheim, leaned down and looked me in the face and he said, you know, Sally, you can't change your mind. And I thought, change my mind? Change my mind? What do you mean? Ever? I can't change it. Ever my mind? Change my mind? We say, I didn't, I didn't back into becoming an actress. Uh, I grew up in a working class show business family. Um, my stepfather was a stuntman slash actor. My mother was an actress. And it was not a life filled with glamour or, or prestige or security. Um, one week, um, perhaps one or both of them would work and then, and then maybe not work again for months and months and months. And um, I never expected my life to be any different. And sometimes it hasn't been, and then sometimes it has. To have a long-term career, you have to want what you want more than you think you're capable of wanting. You have to constantly step aside anything having to do with ego and entitlement and just head for the work wherever it might be. I've, I've ridden the highs and tried to learn from the lows. Uh, I have flown on wires and surfed in the ocean and rode on horses in covered wagons and in fast cars. I've worked in mills and, and picked cotton and done stand-up. I've, I've, I've done a love scene with the pelican. <laughs> but then I've also done a love scene with Paul Newman. I've been weighed down with with 
50 pounds of period dress. I've been fully clothed, semi-clothed, and totally naked. I've worked my whole life and feel the many miles I have accumulated in this saddle. And I can tell you right here and right now, in these last 50 years, I have not ever, not once, considered changing my mind. Thank you for being here.